Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jacob and you're tuned in to Last Stop Waterfowl Outdoors. Well guys, if you saw a couple of weeks ago in one of our video clips, we talked about a new kayak launch that had just been opened up here in Gonzales, Louisiana, where I live. And today, guys, we're going to take a maiden voyage. We're going to do a little bit of kayak fishing today and just kind of go explore for the for the morning and see what things look like at this new little kayak launch and this little Bayou Francois area that runs right here through downtown Gonzales, Louisiana. So we're going to be doing a little bit of perch fishing, maybe a little bit of soccer fishing. That's what we're going to be targeting today. So come along with us. Let's go see what we can catch and just kind of enjoy the surroundings of this new little launch that opened up here in Gonzales over the last couple of weeks guys all right guys so we launched the kayak and we are coming out of the launch right now today's a little windy so it's going to be maybe a little bit depending on how what the terrain is here this morning it's it might be a little tough for kayak fishing but we're gonna we're gonna have some fun with it and like i said we're gonna be mainly doing a little bit of sightseeing this morning checking out the area so i looked at it on a map and if you go in this direction that I'm going, we're actually going a little bit away from the city limits and we're gonna, this is, should be a little bit more structure for us to fish this morning, but we're gonna go check it out. We're gonna see, it looks like it's about six to seven foot deep in this little bayou, Bayou Francois that we're fishing. And it looks like on the map, it's got some pretty terrain. So we're gonna do a little bit of perch jerking and see if we can uh, get some bites and catch a couple of fish that way. So it's gonna be fun. No matter what, it'll be relaxing hopefully today, guys. So we're just going to kind of target this uh, this structure along these banks. Oh, oh, I think I might have had a bite right there, guys. My line took off running. We're throwing a little grub tail worm on a jig head, Benoit Performance Base jig head this morning. And we're just going to target. Don't look like there's a lot of lay downs in here so much, but it's more just, you know, high bank, a little bit of grass and structure, more like reeds and cane, that type of stuff. So... I'm thinking some of those fish are going to be suspended up against those banks. Yeah, see, I'm getting a couple little taps right there when I cast against that bank. So, oh, saw a little brim follow it up. So let's see if we can't maybe catch a couple of perch that way. Let it fall. And then just kind of slowly retrieve it. This is a technique I showed in a video recently, guys, where it's basically just a jig head that I'm throwing, a little tube jig head with a curl tail, something that gives off a little spinning action. And I throw it out there like you would throw a spinner bait for bass and retrieve it back. And those fish absolutely demolish it, those sackle and those brim. So it makes it fun. So the thing about these, these little downtown urban areas like this, guys, is that they oftentimes, they get overlooked a lot of times, you know? And uh, and it's just cool. I like I like watching some of the YouTube channels where they do city limits fishing. I know Mike Iconelli, who's a Bassmaster Elite Pro, he, uh, he had a show a couple of years ago called, I think that's exactly what it was called, was City Limits Fishing. And he would go to all these these little, you know, waterways in these public big cities and uh, and fish them. And, you know, stuff, oxidation, drain offs, you know, just different little areas, ponds that didn't get a lot of action necessarily. And he caught he caught some incredible fish out of these uh, out of these little city areas. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to not only do that, but especially from a kayak, you know, kind of come and fish this little area since they opened up this new launch. And I figured, hey, what the heck, it'll be fun, get to see some new territory. And uh, and as you can see, it's it's beautiful, guys. It's beautiful territory, this little bayou, which is Bayou Francois, um, that runs through the city of Gonzales here. Um, just a, a, a little area that probably doesn't get hit real hard other than a couple of these homes that border the water here, um, which I'll show you. I'll turn around if you guys have can't see it. Um, it's a neighborhood right here. So I'm sure this little area I'm fishing right now probably gets hit by some of these people fishing it, but they probably don't hit it real hard, you know? I don't see any boats along the bank or anything like that telling me that people are going to be fishing, you know, or have been fishing here pretty regularly. So it's interesting to see. Now, I do notice that the water's up today. Um, the wind's been blowing pretty hard the last couple of days, and these areas that I'm in today are tidal influenced. So that wind pushes pushes that water in, and it'll push it up. It'll get it up. So it's pretty high up in the grass, it looks like. So I, sometimes that could affect the fishing. But uh, but who knows? We'll see. We'll kind of time will tell as we go on today, and uh, and 
kind of target in on some of this, these little flats and lay downs and grass uh, and see what the fish want to do today. little bite right there. Didn't take it though. Let's try it again. Boy, it is absolutely beautiful, this little backwater area. <clears throat> I'm fishing today, and uh, although it's been about 10 minutes since we launched, it's not very far. It seems like you're out of the city limits here, guys. And uh, I've had a couple of little taps. I don't know, I might have to change colors up here in a second. I've had a few brim taps on my, my jig, but nothing yet, nothing as of yet. But boy, the, the absolute most beautiful scenery back in this area and uh definitely something to get away and do a little bit of relaxing i could promise you that on a sunday get right with the good lord upstairs and uh, and clear your head clear your head so this is what it's all about man these little floats like this absolutely love it man. i've uh, i've done this you know through the years coming up and once i got a kayak i don't use it as much as i'd like to but I tell you what, when I do get out there and put it in the water and drop it in, um, I always enjoy these little trips like this. Man, right here as I come along this bank, guys, you can see all these wild blackberries. So if you see the red right here in this shot, it is blackberries that haven't ripened yet. But there are hundreds, if not thousands, of blackberries on these little sticker bushes along this little bank along Bayou Francois so pretty cool so looking to pick some blackberries you give it another couple of weeks and they will be loaded with some ripe blackberries down here if you want to take a paddle and come out and pick them it'd be easy because they're right up against the bank Uh, we got a fish oh our first fish and he comes off on us good god almighty man i hooked him guys and i tried to turn on the camera and trying to hold him there while i get the camera on and bam comes off all right guys so we still haven't got a actual catch on camera today uh as a matter of fact we ain't got a I say on camera we haven't got a catch at all but it is a very nice little float um, coming up on a railroad track. It looks like here. I've had a few taps today. I've changed different colors on the jig um, and I've had a couple of taps, but I cannot seem to get them to take anything. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this water coming up, we're on a high tide and they're just not real active right now. The water clarity seems pretty good, but, uh, but so far not too much. But we're going to keep it going and see what happens. Maybe we'll run into a little mess of them here. As we're coming under the bridge, guys, you can see all these old railroad spikes. They have a bunch of them in the water as well. That's kind of cool. I see some little brim moving around. And like I said, I could get them to tap. I just can't get them to eat anything. All right, so the further back I'm getting, guys, after I just missed that little brim, uh, looks like now I'm in the back of like this, this uh, 
manufacturing plant or some kind of like lumber yard. Yeah, it looks like a lumber yard actually. So what's cool about this urban fishing is you don't know where you're gonna end up at really. And that's kind of neat. You know, you see all kind of different shots and businesses from angles you wouldn't normally see it from the highways and the parking lots. So looks like we're on the backside of a, uh, of a lumber yard here. So a bunch of chunk rock. I was hoping to catch something on this chunk rock a little further down, but no bites on the chunk rock. I figured I might catch a bass or something like that staged out, but nothing. Like I said, it's just not been a whole lot of activity. Don't seem like the fish are biting too well. Right, first fish hooked up on, and we got a catfish it looks like, guys. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say catfish. Yep, yep, definitely a catfish. So that's two in a row, a hook actually. The first one come off on me, but yep. There's our catfish. There we go, guys. A little catfish. Let me, let me move my paddle out of the way. How about that first? All right, guys. So there we go. We got our first fish of the day that we actually hooked into and got them to the kayak so a little little blue cat nice little catfish it's the second one like i said i hooked in a row but uh the first one came off i was trying to hurry up and put the paddle in a uh, paddle holder and he came off on me so we're gonna let him go release him back let him grow another day let go fella there we go all right so there we go we got us another catfish little blue cat again caught him right here along this bank right here so number two for today all right guys not exactly sure what i got hooked up right here but it's something another catfish i'll be dang let's see if i can get him wasn't fighting like a catfish i could tell you that but we got another catfish <laughs> oh, he sunk it. A little brim, I'm assuming. Let's see if we can get him to hit it again. Still got my niblet. Yep. Let's see if he'll hit it again there. Yeah. And yeah, some little brim. It must be little. Those catfish think it though when they hit, they hit it. They don't mess around. They got some little brim all along this little spall bank right here. And boy, they, <laughs> they hold the hook, so they must be little. But when it's been a slow day, it's still fun to try to catch them. Now it's personal. Let's see. Down, there they go. They tap it. Tap it. See if they'll take it. Boy, once it gets out of a certain little spot, they won't touch it. All right, I hooked one of those little suckers. There he is. Oh yeah, boy, look at the colors on this thing, guys. Wow. Look at the colors on this little brim. That's one of the most beautiful little brim I've caught this year. Wow. So much blue in that little fish. That's crazy, guys. Look how blue that little brim is. Beautiful little fish. Yellow, orange, and blue. Look at the bottom. Even the bottom of his gills is blue. Might be some kind of mutation, huh, guys? <laughs> All right, we're going to let them go. Good. All right, so we're back at the launch. We are wrapping up the trip this afternoon. And I'm sure a lot of people, if you are going to watch this, I'm going to have some people that's going to uh, gonna ask me about the kayak that I was fishing out of, guys. And this is a filled-in stream. This is a 15-foot. I picked this up during hunting season. And it's great because I could also duck hunt out of this. It's got the camo color. 
but this is a field and stream 15 foot kayak and i forgot the exact series what is it it's a shadow caster and this thing is awesome stability wise today had really really good stability on the water and i'm a big guy man i have you know i weigh 300 pounds damn near at it and i'm 6'2 and i didn't have any problems floating in this kayak today so overall that's the first time i've taken it out to do some fishing with it but i'm very very impressed with it and i don't know if they make this anymore i know field and stream uh still has stores retail stores so if you guys are interested you like the way it looks um, you may want to take a look at field and stream and see if it's available but the seat is very comfortable on it got good space on it and it tracks really really well it did a good job today tracking um as well i didn't mention that but it did so very impressed with it easy to paddle and uh overall guys i really like this kayak all right everybody so that is a wrap for the day i actually am filming the outro right now in my truck because it started to rain pretty hard we got a big system that's coming through this afternoon and i wanted to make sure i get the kayak packed up and all my gear and right as i was finishing up it started pouring down so guys today a slow day overall um, we caught a couple of catfish we caught a couple of brim there's two of them that i tried to flip in and get the camera on uh while i was trying to while i was hooked up with the fish and trying to flip them in the kayak that hit the kayak and came off on me uh but overall still had a blast today i'm really glad i took this trip today and i want to give a shout out to the city of gonzalez for this new kayak launch that they built they did a really good job with it um it's nothing that's overthought it's not too fancy it's very simple and efficient and lots of parking that's a good thing so if you've got multiple people that are looking to come out do a little bit of kayak fishing at this launch you do have plenty of parking and it's in a safe area that you don't have to worry about your gear so really impressed with the kayak today too guys i took it out for the first time and i talked about that a second ago i was really happy with it overall the performance and the uh and everything that goes along with it so guys if you enjoyed this video we appreciate you giving us a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel you can also consider subscribing to the channel we would appreciate that as well for more content in the future that we could bring to you and until next time guys this is jacob with last stop waterfowl outdoors saying happy mother's day to all the moms out there and we will see y'all again soon in the outdoors y'all take care and have a good day